Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at a new feature of PSIM version 12, which is the dual time step. The dual time step is essentially the first major change to the PSIM solve engine since the late 90s, since the very first versions of PSIM. Uh, this is allowing you to uh, define a smaller time step for use at the switching transition, so the engine will automatically swap to the smaller time step uh, when there is a switching event. So uh, hopefully this will allow for faster simulations with more fidelity uh, at the switch transition uh, because you won't need to have such a small time step for the rest of the, of the simulation. So we'll demonstrate the dual time step with this LLC converter here. We've got a perturbation being injected. The resonant frequency of this thing is around 130 uh, kilohertz. So we'll inject um, a frequency change here, so we we'll, should see a ripple in the output voltage. We'll run it with a 10 nanosecond fixed time step and a 100 nanosecond dual time step with a finer time step, uh, 25 times smaller, so 4 nanoseconds. We get to choose in this drop down what kind of time step we want. Uh, and we'll look at uh, how fast things are and, and some simulation results. So, uh, and dead time here is 100 nanoseconds. So um, let's run. So this, we can look at the bottom right here. We can see that it's taking right around, uh, when it's finished, that was 10 seconds to get to, to the end there. Uh, so there's some waveforms. Uh, I won't spend too much time looking at these waveforms. Let's kind of take a quick, so there's some switching waveforms. Uh, let's have a little look at the output voltage. So we can see there's the ripple there. So there's that. Uh, injection voltage uh, perturbation we were putting in. Uh, and so that one, as a recap, was, was 10 seconds. So let me just save these results as the first run. And now we'll run the dual time step. So the dual time step, we click that box, and then so we have a coarse time step, and then at the switch transitions, it'll automatically switch to this four nanosecond time step, uh, and then switch back out again. And we'll run this one now. And we can see right away that this is faster. So this is three seconds versus 10 seconds. So call it three times faster. And let's have a little look at some waveforms. Uh, let's look at the current again. Uh, let's also pick up the uh, voltage on the primary on a different wave. Uh, and we can just merge these two results together. Uh, so we'll grab that fixed step one. Voltage on the primary is there, and IQA voltage on the top. Uh, so IQA is the current that the top side fed. Oh, uh, yeah, IQA, there it is. And we can zoom in, zoom in, and let's uh, pull up the markers here. Star, star. And let me just put that to timing axis. OK, so we can see that the two waveforms are essentially laid on top of each other. So the fidelity, well, there's no fidelity lost. Um, and so with that coarser time step, let's zoom in right here at a switch transition. We should really see the difference. So we can see, uh, so the red line here has the dual time step. So we're clicking along at that 100 nanoseconds, and then we switch right away to that 4 nanoseconds right at the switch transition. Whereas with the fixed time step, we were clicking along at 10 nanoseconds the entire time. So we are able to, um, let's, I did one is about that far. So we're, we can see quite clearly where, um, the switch, where we switched that smaller time step. So this uh, will hopefully be useful in uh, your simulations. Uh, there, you know, you'll need to play with with the, the t how small a time step you need to, to go at and how big a, how coarse a time step you can go here in order to get the best results. But uh, yeah, you know, th three times faster for this particular simulation. So thanks for watching and look for more tutorial videos. Thanks so much.